Now we will deal with the electrician cruise ship jobs test number three. Here are the questions. Question number one. For a transformer with a single secondary winding, how many diodes are used in the diode bridge grad circuit in order to obtain DC current? A. 2. B. 3. C. 4. D. 1. And the correct answer is C. 4. Question number two. A transistor may be used for switching a signal on and off. A. Yes. B. No. And the correct answer is A. Yes. Question number three. Air conditioning compressor begin constantly on is indication of what? A. There is a high difference between the compressor and the condenser. B. Level of freon is low. C. The compressor's motors are in their normal state. D. There is a high difference between the compressor and the evaporator. And the correct answer is B. Level of freon is low. Question number four. The speed of rotation of an asynchronous motor is always A. Smaller than nominal. B. Larger than synchronous. C. Larger than nominal. D. Smaller than synchronous. And the correct answer is D. Smaller than synchronous. Question number five. Peak values are always A. Fluctuating. B. Less than average values. C. Greater than or equal to average values. D. Less than or equal to average values. And the correct answer is C. Greater than or equal to average values. Question number six. Which of the following is used for galvanic isolation? A. Fuse. B. Optocoupler. C. Resistor. D. Varicap diode. And the correct answer is B. Optocoupler. Question number seven. Resistors are labeled by A. Surface mount device marking. B. Blue color and with a capital letter O. C. They are not labeled. The resistance needs to be measured. D. Differently colored rings. And here we have two correct answers. A. Surface mount device marking. D. Differently colored rings. Question number eight. The primary winding of a transformer is connected to A. An AC current source. B. An AC load. C. A DC load. D. A DC current source. And the correct answer is A. An AC current source. Question number nine. The simplest form of a semiconductor is A. Transistor B. Diode C. Frequency regulator D. Capacitor And the correct answer is B. Diode Question number 10 On the illustration is shown A. Temperature sensor. B. Flow meter. C. Pressure transmitter. 
the level switch and the correct answer is C pressure transmitter question number 11 in the air conditioning system cooling fluid dryer is usually located a at the compressor inlet B between the condenser and the throttle or expansion C at the evaporator D after the expansion valve and the correct answer is B between the condenser and the throttle or expansion question number 12 a device commonly used for remote switching of wire communication signals is a a solenoid b a potentiometer c an electromagnet d a relay and the correct answer is d a relay Question number 13. An advantage of a rheostat over a potentiometer is that A. A rheostat is more precise. B. A rheostat can handle more current. C. A rheostat works better with DC. D. A rheostat can handle higher frequencies. And the correct answer is B. A rheostat can handle more current. Question number 14. Unit of inductance is A. Weber B. Tesla C. Henry D. Joule And the correct answer is Henry. And the final question, question number 15. How should an emitter be connected to a load in order to measure the current going through it? A. In parallel. B. Cascaded. C. In series. D. Both in series and in parallel. And the correct answer is C in series and that will be all for now stay tuned for another tests